Bah donc, tu... OK. Uh, I'm Vasily Zakovsky from the Duhov Research Institute of Automatic. And today I'd like to show you our recent results related to formation, uh, uh, instability, and fragmentation of shock producer jets. Uh, let me, OK, it works. So <clears throat> uh, you know that uh, typically jets in our daily life is uh, just a string of water. Uh, uh, which uh, looks quite unstable, cylindrical jets. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, today I'll show you a more microscopic level of a jet, which are formed usually uh, after um, arriving of shock compression, shock wave to the uh, rippled, uh, grooved surface of material, hard material, metals usually. So <clears throat> it's important for the, uh, some technical application and also has a, some fundamental, uh, uh, fundamental problem here uh, still because it looks like Rishmar-Mishko uh, instability in the limit. So <clears throat> shock produced ejector from the teen uh, we simulated with uh, two different methods, molecular atomistic, molecular dynamic method, and smooth particle high dynamic code. On very different, uh, different special scale, uh, an atomistic level 100 nanometers, and uh, 100 uh, uh, micrometer and hydrodynamic scale. But the flow, hydrodynamic flow obtained by the both methods are quite similar. So. First, I will discuss about simulation of cylindrical jet and their disintegration uh, to the serious droplets. Uh, we are a very well-known capillary, capillary instability, plateau relay inst instability. Then I will talk about uh, simulation of fragmentation of planar jets. So a bit more complicated thing, and that uh, still there is uh, some uh, basic um, question. Uh, remains uh, 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 unclear. So the main issue of this in this uh, topic that the planar liquid jet or planar liquid sheet uh, very stable in uh, normal condition. So, however, uh, some experiment uh, shows very likely that uh, the uh, fast interior internal fragmentation of planar jet may happen. And, uh, at, at, and happen at much bigger planar uh, jet, then it, we may usually obtain in molecular dynamic simulation where the jet becomes a sheet, planar sheet, uh, becomes unstable uh, <clears throat> when it reaches a thickness of less than one nanometer. Of course, it's not realistic in experimental condition, and uh, this issue still uh, wait uh, its answer. So, so about setup, what's the typical scheme of the uh, experiment and uh, simulation and theory where the uh, such jets may be formed. So shock wave comes to the uh, rear surface of material target, and if the ma material is, uh, surface is not plain, uh, some uh, groove, groove, grooved surface or maybe a ripplet surface, depending on uh, geometry, we may call it different way. So then the jets are formed from the minimum of this uh, surface, and the characteristic uh, depth of this groove is uh, A, and length between the next uh, neighbor's groove uh, lambda, and then the uh, dimensionless amplitude of this groove can be uh, represented as a product A and K. So for larger A K, they have a deeper groove. So <clears throat> Uh, you see that this picture is quite similar to what happens if we have a uh, replete interface between uh, two materials with different density, and rishmeyer mishkov instability will develop after uh, passing of shock wave through this interface. But here we have, usually here in experimental condition, uh, a vacuum or very rare gas. 
Okay, uh, I want to say also that the, uh, due to geometry, so if it's a uh, uh, groove, that I mean just a linear groove, we should have planar jet here, but if it's a just look like cone on the surface, it will be a liquid uh, cylindrical jet. And they decay in very different ways. So we know very well how decay, uh, how the cylindrical jet decays, but the uh, planar jet may need some additional study. So <clears throat> it shows a molecular dynamic simulation and a smooth particle hydrodynamic simulation in the dimensionless coordinate and time. And you see that the uh, pressure density maps are represented very well and similar way in, in uh, atomistic and hydrodynamic simulation. It indicates that hydrodynamic wor wor works very well until, say, 10 nanometers special scales dimension. And then uh, we may do some uh, um, scaling of this uh, motion to get uh, uh, more detailed uh, information from the atomistic scale and compare with the SPH, SPH simulation. I would like to also uh, uh, underline that the, these two simulations are consistent in sense of the, uh, the equation of state was calculated firstly by atomistic simulation, and then this equation of state was used in smooth particle hydrodynamic. So they, uh, this is the reason why they uh, provide us uh, very similar results. Only difference um, you may see that the uh, surface tension was not included in smooth particle hydrodynamic, which is why here we have not so well pronounced droplet here and droplet. Okay, so <clears throat> for different AK, so roughness of the surface, uh, you see here a very nice experimental result uh, in uh, shadow of these uh, jets. Uh, obtained recently by William Butler and David Oro. So they show that the Folagia AQ have a very nice, very long uh, jets, uh, but were for smaller one, smallest one here. So jets are mostly controlled by the uh, plasticity. If the material was not melted by shockwave, then plasticity uh, control development, controls development of these uh, jets, and even even MD we cannot obtain it because uh, material strength is too high and uh, prevent uh, uh, prevents formation of this jet. So the, this is why we mostly are interested in such very nice jet for not so small roughness of the surface. Okay, here the comparison of two. Uh, uh, simulation approach, MD and SPH, and the experimental results. Uh, so you see cross here, and uh, it shows experimental point, then SPH, different SPH code, shows uh, just it's almost the same. Um, uh, these uh, uh, circles, closed circles here, and uh, different MD. So different MD uh, uh, simulation of the size of the sample, uh, which initially was small one, 50 nanometers, up to 150 nanometers. I mean, size of the <coughs> cross-section of the target. So that with increasing of uh, size, we uh, almost approach, actually just approach to the exact, not exact, just approach MD, SPH, hydrodynamic results with uh, magenta uh, diamond here. So the biggest sim our simulation. So the experiment uh, for, uh, includes a uh, million atoms, and 10 million atoms was used in, uh, uh, as a hydrodynamic simulation. The uh, hydrodynamic code was worked with a sample uh, with a dimension as an experimental condition. So <clears throat> I told uh, uh, about the generation of shock, or uh, generation of jets, and now let's talk about instability of planet So in order to show some uh, basic um, um, how to say, ideas of uh, instability, first I'll show experimental, well, um, I mean, on daily life experiment, actually. Oh, no, no, just uh, first it's ex experiment from the fragment, uh, fragmentation of liquid jet 
from the uh, from the tin. So experimentalists told us that the jet was liquid and expand very quickly from the target from here. And uh, uh, but for very short time it will be it was destroyed on very small filaments black line here black line not not white black line so small filaments and droplets so <clears throat> it's quite unusual for us because uh, in contrast to uh, MD simulation where the jet is very planar jet is very stable here we have a very quick. Uh, disintegration of this uh, planar jet, and the main the problem uh, to find is to find the mechanism of such instability. Uh, we don't know still what the mechanism drive such uh, uh, fragmentation of the planar jet. So it was done just recently, three three years ago, and it was obtained by the holography uh, through the in the ultraviolet line. So very nice experiment. And now about daily life. So <clears throat> uh, instability uh, of the liquid uh, jets uh, was studied very long time, actually already 200 years, starting from the Sawara, uh, Sawara instability. He was first 200 years ago, French scientist who found that the uh, planar jet uh, fragments to, in, into the droplets. So if a uh, kind of beam or stream of uh, water hit the some stopper here, pla a plain stopper, then you see jet, it's a white cell. So the edge of this jet is quite unstable and many droplets just move up from here like this. So <clears throat> and this scheme shows that the water comes to the, uh, this plateau and then moves almost horizontal because uh, gravity is uh, actually ne uh, negligible here if the speed is enough of velocity. So the unstable thing here, not the jet itself, cylindrical planar jet, but only edge of this jet. So the rim, edge or rim, is unstable through the formation of the such kind of cusp, and cusp uh, itself uh, is fragmented to the droplets. So here's another type of uh, instability, like flag instability on the wind, uh, which we'll not discuss here. And it happens uh, when the <clears throat> flow of the, uh, this flow happens uh, in the uh, gas, quite dense gas. So we're mostly interested in uh, expansion of the jet, micro jet into the vacuum. Okay, so another very nice picture, we show the instability of the edge is a bubble, soap bubble, and then it's stable itself all, all, this, all time, except the case when the, the, some small hole is formed on the, uh, this sheet of the uh, bubble. So, and then you see uh, the edge which propagate to the uh, left side, and the many, many filaments are formed on this jet. So then this filament itself unstable due to plateau relay instability, cylindrical uh, uh, jet instability, uh, and many droplets finally uh, forward. Okay, simulation of, in, uh, the uns uh, simulation of plan, uh, sorry, cylind cylindrical jet or uh, liquid cylinder. So it's well-known theory of plateau relay, uh, which was uh, almost 120 years ago was developed by relay. Relay. So that is uh, base, ba This theory is based on the <coughs> uh, Laplace pressure expression for the uh, curved surface. Surface. So uh, which in cylindrical case depends on the surface here along the along the filament, along the jet, and uh, itself uh, um, radial, uh, uh, radial curvature of the cylinder itself. Because they are fluctu may fluctuate or perturb it, then the pressure will fluctuate inside that such cylinder. So if the here se uh, cross section will become the smaller, then the pressure here may be uh, may uh, reach a higher value than here, and then material uh, will move to this side, and then we will finally obtain kind of uh, droplet 
uh, and uh, which size actually uh, does not depend on surface tension shown here. So this is just, uh, I wrote the uh, dispersion relation here, and the solution of this equation uh, obtained from the, from the equation for uh, inviscid flow, earlier equation actually, so uh, the positive one will represent, uh, will give us a region of the, where the jet is unstable. It's this uh, represented by here, this curve. The maximum unstable mode uh, shown here, it gives us uh, about two uh, droplets of the radius of two of initial cylinder, and the characteristic time of development of, of such instability shown here, which depends on density, initial radius of cylinder, and surface tension. Okay, we will check this. Uh, uh, we checked such kind of prediction but not in the steady cylinder, but in extending cylinder, in jet expanding in the length. So it means the theory may not work if the expansion rate or characteristic time of expansion is shorter than the characteristic time of development of relay instability. So, and this show here and here two different, uh, initially different uh, filament with different radius, and then the uh, droplet in, uh, droplet radius format inside, and the end droplet format uh, uh, on the end of the filaments. So they quite well agree with the uh, theory, but uh, remember that the theory, as I said, developed from the uh, deformation rent is zero. Okay, so. No, no, it's a just simulation, atomistic molecular dynamic simulation. The moment of the droplet formation in this simulation? It depends on the, uh, what the uh, radius was initial, radius, and the surface tension. So here, the moment is may, we may found that they just, uh, when the such kind of small radius filament appear and then it form. We do not control condition for the rupture. We just absorb it in simulation. It's not theory, it's simulation. So it ruptured in the, some time, and we, we may say that the rupture time come, uh, is, a, a, is in agree with uh, theory, theoretical estimation, I, as I said on this one, characteristic time. So it's ruptured just uh, ex exponentially by, uh, f say, three times of this characteristic time. Yeah, three times. This characteristic time in exponent. So then uh, we may expect it will. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. There is a number, of course. Sure, sure, sure. So, and uh, you may see, uh, I, I show this number here. So, <clears throat> actually, size. So, uh, ferret, I mean, exp simulation, simulated size here, but uh, uh, really, uh, theory pred uh, predict uh, a little bit higher radius of droplets here. And uh, end droplets almost agree very well, so, and uh, uh, applicabil applicability of relay tero, uh, sorry, uh, relay instability, or plateau relay, more exactly, instability, is under question because at this time, break time of the droplet and expansion, characteristic time of expansion, are almost same, I mean, same, have, have same order. So we cannot really apply to predict, but we may, may predict only uh, order of uh, magnitude of this uh, uh, instability. By the way, uh, instability, uh, theoretical uh, theory of such instability is not developed yet. I mean, expanding jets, expanding filaments. Okay, here another example, we show that the droplet size does not depend on the, uh, almost does not depend on surface tension. Uh, here, expansion, atomistic simulation of expansion with a larger surface tension, a normal actually surface tension of liquid tin, here four times less. So you see that the uh, plateau relay instability will, will delay a very long time because the uh, surface tension is quite small. Actually, it will be, if it will be zero, if the plateau relay instability will not develop at all.
Okay, so let's go ahead. So it's, uh, the most interesting thing for us, I, I suggest, instability of planar jets. Uh, in order to uh, give you an idea uh, how it's possible to destroy liquid sheet, how to make it unstable, I just showed the movie, downloaded from the internet with, from this uh, slow down show channel on t YouTube. So it shows initially that the bubble, very soft bubble, very stable itself. If there is no hole, no anything, so it may live very long time, may live, yeah. And even stable if you have a uh, uh, so, soapy hand move in and move out, it, it survives very easily. So remains as a wall. However, if you just touch with bubble, with dried finger, it's immediately destroyed in many, many droplets. What kind of instability uh, leads to this such uh, fragmentation? So you see small, bu small bullet moving with a, a speed about 10 meters per second. So it m create very small hole here. And then the edge of this uh, bubble sheet propagate to the left. And there's uh, only and the remnant of this uh, uh, edge is a, a liquid droplet, so male liquid, liquid. It's interesting also, so these two bubbles, satellite bubbles, survive in this uh, <laughs> experiments. So, so uh, the idea of this uh, instability, this fragmentation start from the a hole, some small pin from, on, on this sheet. Okay, I show here more details here. So it's touch surface, and then this edge moves uh, to the left, and from this edge we may see a lot of filaments, which itself are unstable due to just standard plateau instability. They uh, uh, fragment to the this filament fragments to a lot of small, actually not small, quite large droplets. Uh, large means uh, larger, thicker than the uh, thickness of this initial bubble sheet, okay? Many times, about 10, 20 times. So <clears throat> let's talk about some uh, theory of this instability. So the cusp, uh, which I told you before, uh, is formed on the edge of this uh, uh, liquid sheet or jet. So, and uh, uh, material moves to the, this rim and collect it or accumulate it within of uh, this uh, cusp. And cusp generate a new secondary cylindrical jet. This cylindrical jet is unstable and uh, fragments to the uh, small droplets. Okay, the scheme is, is shown here. We have uh, let's consider the system just uh, at the rest of the rim, at the rest of the rim. Then sheet inflow, material inflow into this rim happens at some angle, say. And then because uh, <coughs> uh, tangential velocity should be conserved, this velocity just stop it to zero. So this is conserved. Then we, we, we obtain such condition where the material uh, inflow forms, uh, say, uh, inflow inside the rim, so to the, to, toward the caps from here and here. So sheet, sheet comes to the rim, just rotate or how to say, make angle and move along the rim like a river, which collect all, all small springs, uh, all sorts of uh, water. And then um, here we have an accumulation of material which form secondary jet here, cylindrical jet, which will destroy it on the droplets. This is just simple uh, representation of what happened on the sheet. So this is a simulation. So the uh, how, first question, how, how the uh, such cusp on the edge of the sheet can be formed. It's easy, just any uh, fluctuation of thickness of the sheet will result uh, in the formation uh, of this cusp. We have uh, some inflow, 
with a plan of planar jet, which has here thin th thickness of this sheet, here thick and thin again. So we have here a small velocity of the rim, here large velocity in the system of the uh, rest of the uh, uh, this rim. The material comes to uh, rim, move along the rim to the cusp, and accumulate here, and forms uh, second. Here is just droplet, big droplet. But later, the big. Uh, I'll show you uh, long secondary jet will be formed. So more details. Is a side view. So thin, thin, very thin planar jet, then here we have a rim, and this rim form this kind of uh, uh, secondary, uh, I, I may say cylindrical, but of course it's not exactly cylindrical, just maybe ellipsoidal elliptoid, uh, jets, and the end of jets we have a f uh, formation of the big droplets, finally then they expand uh, in time and will uh, uh, detach from this sheet. So more interesting to say here, we have a velocity, 220 meters here, because uh, this sheet is quite thin, about 10 nanometers. So the, for 10 nanometers, we have a uh, rim speed, speed of rim is about <clears throat> 20, uh, 200 meters. But for one micrometer size of the bubble sheet, the speed of the rim is just about 10 meters per second, which is why I before show a, a, like a bullet with a speed of 10 nanometers, 10 meters per second has almost the same speed as a, a destroy, destroying front of this, uh, of this bubble. So material inflow to the rim and may, uh, <laughs> obtains, because with uh, oblique inflow, then the uh, this flow can serve uh, tangential velocity here, and the uh, red one is just moving to the central part. Green one is moving to opposite to the left side, to the center. And then they accumulate there. Okay, this is a molecular dynamic simulation of very big system. It shows that the planar jet form the, uh, this secondary planar jet uh, through the rim forms cylindrical jet. Initially, of course, it, uh, it became, became unstable when it reached uh, uh, enough length. But uh, initially, it was quite stable here. But later time, it, uh, when the uh, distance uh, uh, length of these jets becomes enough to de for development of uh, platoral instability, some droplets are just detached from, from the end of this jet. This is a basic mechanism which we just found. It's quite not a really new uh, result because in hydrodynamic simulation it's quite known. But here the material was thin and the sheet, uh, full transition from the sheet um, jet in form of uh, sheet to the jet in form of uh, cylinder uh, was absorbed and simulated here. Okay, so <clears throat> you, you saw that the uh, jetting, actually jetting, uh, uh, formation of droplets in secondary jets, it's quite a uh, quasi-stationary process. So uh, es escaping just initial uh, time for formation of this jet. So here I show one typical period on later time how the droplet is formed and new droplet uh, appear, I mean, end of the uh, uh, cylindrical jet uh, appear and then it repeat again. I mean, detach and detach. So, statistic show he, shown here uh, that the initially small droplets detach, we just neglect it, so, and then the very big droplet in the size was formed and the end of cylindrical jet, and the speed of this was about uh, 70 meters, 70 meters per second. 
But later we have uh, just a uh, repeating, repeating situation where the jets are formed and detached, formed and detached with the average velocity about 100 meters. So there is a correlation, smaller size of droplets or larger velocity. So that we may say uh, there is some uh, correlation, quasi steady region of droplet. So, okay. So in summary, what we did, just first we made uh, consistent SPH and atomistic simulation of shock produced, shock induced uh, liquid jet from the tin, solid tin, shock wave was well, melting shock. <clears throat> and it was uh, our kind of work uh, performed for the first time, I think, so. I think so. so what uh, we show that the cylindrical jet disintegrates to the droplets or series of droplets via well-known plateau relay instability. Uh, it's not, not, not simulated yet, I guess, in the atomistic scale, but of course simulated by hydrodynamic loads. But our hydrodynamic and molecular dynamic simulation are quite well agree, and we believe that expand our smooth particle hydrodynamic simulation to a real system with surface tension, which we'll hope to include soon. And then, planar liquid jets are internally stable, as you saw from the movie and uh, our simulation. We also did some kind of perturbation of the planar jets uh, in simulation, but nothing happened. It's quite stable. And the only way to fragment it is to just uh, form the edge a hole, any, any form of age on this sheet. On this sheet. And uh, due to uh, uh, perturbation of the thickness of the sheet, that the uh, oblique flow may uh, result in formation of the rim, and rim itself will lead to the formation of secondary jets, formation of the caps and secondary jet, cylindrical jet, and which the last one is uh, unstable due to just normal plateau relay instability. And in, in, in tin, such edge fragmentation moves on the uh, tin, liquid tin sheet with a speed about uh, 10 meters per second for one micrometer, uh, for thickness of one micrometers. It's okay, I mean, this is a kind of uh, way to destroy such a uh, planar jet. However, in experimental condition, the time of uh, destruction uh, is one order one word, word shorter. So it means, when I saw initially, I mean, uh, second, third uh, slide, uh, experimental observation of um, fragmentation of liquid jet, planar jet, that cannot, I mean, this mechanism cannot be utilized to explain this. So it means, so the mechanism of inner, I mean inside, I mean planar fragmentation of planar liquid jet, if it exists actually, it's maybe some mistake of experimentalists. So how are we, if, they're, if they are right, so this mechanism remains unclear. And this is of course, of course is subject of future research. Thank you very much. <laughs>